Hi everyone, Christian here again, Summer Haze Music Center, String Repair Department. Today we're going to talk about tuning the violin and the correct handling of the fine tuners. In the case of this violin, which is a professional instrument, there's only one fine tuner on a wooden tailpiece. The fine tuner has been used many times to tune E string and over time it has been drilled all the way towards the inside. So if, if I do a couple of more turns, I will come to natural stop. So the more I tune E string with the peg and want to adjust the last little bit with a fine tuner, I cannot use it. So to me it makes a lot of sense before we start the actual tuning process to take the fine tuner screw back out again. This is not saying we take it completely out, it doesn't make sense because then it would fall off. But at the moment when the screw hits the lower part of the fine tuner, this seems to be like a reasonable position. This translates into about 5-6 millimeters. If we do that every day, we have a very wide range of tuning possibility. And approximately 5 millimeters represent about half a step of the tone. And that should be fine for E string. Also something else that I observe a lot, students ask me a lot if they can break strings with a fine tuner. The answer is no. In the case of these Whitner tail pieces, beautiful modern devices for students. In the case of this one here, this one is from Germany and you can obtain it at Summerhays Music Center. We use it for all our student instruments. As you can see, someone has been using this and the position of these screws is correct. These have been used so many times that they're all the way inside and they will not be able to be used. So as I explained before, before we tuning, it is a good idea to get the screws out. Not too much because then they would fall off. About there. Now we can start the actual process of tuning the instrument. 